In this video we'll discuss a powerful new feature in version 11 that allows you to set a session variable when you uh, execute a uh, button that makes an AJAX callback and opens up a component. So um, it's very common in uh, Alpha 5 applications uh, to create uh, buttons in your uh, components that open up other components. So you can see here that uh, when I click this button over here we're going to open up a target grid or when I open up say for example this button over here I'm going to open up a target uh, dialog but what's new over here is that um, when I press this button over here not only am I going to open up the uh, target component but I'm also going to set a session variable at the same time and I'm going to do them with uh, a single click rather than as was previously required having two buttons the first button which um, created the session variable and then say the second button which opened up the target component so let's go back now and take a look at how this uh, button was defined so let's go first to this button over here and we'll bring up the builder so we've got the standard action JavaScript action to open a grid component. So we'll go here and we'll say edit and then we'll click on the uh, builder and you can see now that within the builder now there um, is a new button here called set session variables and uh, what this lets you do is specify the name of any session variable that you'd like to create and specify the corresponding value. So let's take a look at how some examples of how you can go ahead and set these variables. So if we look at the help text here we can see that for example we could have written uh, var1 equals alpha which would have created a session variable with a literal value of just alpha or var2 equals 23 would also have created a session variable and it would have been a character value 23 so even though it shows here in this text as 23 without quotes the session variable that gets created is always a character value but this is where it gets really really interesting so you can see here we've we've got var3 equals and then we've used the curly bracket javascript um, uh, prefix here to indicate that the value of this session variable should be computed by executing this JavaScript function, myjs function, uh, before the callback is made. So in this case, um, my JavaScript function would be some function that was defined in your JavaScript function declarations, and you can pass into this function as a parameter row num, which would be the row number of the current row in the grid that has focus. So um, as I mentioned in this case uh, myjs function is a function that you've defined in your JavaScript function declarations but you can also um, uh, just as easily use anonymous functions so you can see here we've got uh, JavaScript and then we've defined an anonymous function which reads the value of the last name field from the current row in the grid and then you can see that um, so this is the anonymous function declaration over there followed immediately by open paren row num close paren which means execute that anonymous function and return the value so in this case the value of var4 would be set to whatever the current value is in the last name field so session dot var4 would exist uh, when the target component is opened and it would have a value of whatever was in the last name field. So in fact you can see that's exactly what we've done over here. We've said get the value out of the last name field and set a session variable called var1 equal to that value over there. And then if we uh, quickly go to um, the uh, target component, uh, let's go save this away and uh, I'm going to pause here and pick it up in the next video.